Hello, hello, ladies and gents. Although, if you're on this video, you're probably identifying as a lady, but regardless, hello to whoever is watching this on their screen right now. It's Ash. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. For this week's video, I'm going to be doing another sorority related video. I got a lot of good feedback on my last one, which was just like things you should know before sorority recruitment and talking about my experiences. And I wanted to do a video for like knowing which is the right sorority for you. I saw another YouTuber do this and she also did a video about virtual recruitment because I know a lot of schools are doing that. My school is doing something along those lines. So if you guys want to see a video about virtual recruitment, I can definitely try and come up with some tips and stuff. I'll be completely honest, I haven't even gone through like a normal recruitment from the sorority side, so virtual recruitment is just like a whole new ball game for everybody involved, but I can try my best because a lot of it is like talking to a camera, obviously, and I like to think that I'm pretty good at that, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, for this video, I want to talk about um, the things that helped me just distinguish which sorority I felt at home with throughout the whole recruitment process and just like spread the knowledge to all of you. And also I'm just like really excited to make more sorority videos because like after being a member for almost a year at this point and like it's around that time now, it's almost recruitment season. It's just really exciting because watching sorority videos is what even got me interested in Greek life in the first place. So I hope that this helps you if you're watching this for the purpose of hopefully going through recruitment this year. So yeah, before I say anything else, um, be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below, give this video a like, follow me on all of my social medias, they'll be linked in the description down below and floating around on the screen somewhere. And also be sure to check out my music, got quite a few songs out and I'm working on more. I always say that I'm working on more and I never really like tell you guys about it on my channel, but I swear this year, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into how to pick the right sorority for you. As always, got my hand dandy phone with all my notes on it, so we're gonna get through it. I'm gonna say two very important things about recruitment, personally, that I feel. Um, and I feel like no one's ever like said this very blatantly before, so I wanna put it out there right now. One, the entire process is based off of your emotions and how you feel. So you need to pay attention to that and like know how you feel after every conversation, every round, so that you know if you feel you'd be a good fit and if you're comfortable there. And two, you need to be able to like step back and look at the bigger picture. Like you can't let every single moment define your decision, if that makes any sense. Um, so I don't know, I feel like the, that's a really important thing to just keep in mind. So the first tip that I have for figuring out which sorority is right for you is to take notes after you leave every single round. Um, we take notes on you guys. Like, it's really important for us to know your name and who you are and how the conversation went because we're trying to gauge if we think you'd be a good fit for our chapter. And you guys should be doing the same thing because obviously you know yourselves better than we do after like a five minute conversation. So I would say just like after you leave a house, write a little quick note in your phone be like, you know, good experience, conversation went well, or bad experience, um, the girl cried about her dead cat or something, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, just like take notes because like I said before, it's really important to know how you feel after every single round and it's gonna be easier to remember if you write it down um because especially after like the first few rounds oh, round one was so rough and i only went through recruitment with five houses like i can't imagine some of you guys having to go through it with like 22 houses especially in the very beginning when you have like all of the houses that you're going to it's gonna be super hard to distinguish and like remember each experience separately from a another house or whatever so just Make sure that you're taking notes and that you remember how you felt at each place because it's just going to be easy for you to make your decision. So yeah. So the second thing that I thought personally helped me was to pay attention during philanthropy day. I will be completely honest, you can, you can at me if this is bad, but in the beginning, philanthropy was not a deciding factor for me and I was just like, you know, I don't have a preference 
with what cause I'm helping support. As long as I'm doing my civic duty and like doing something good for the community, then I would be happy. Every philanthropy is great. I think all the causes are great. So I don't really have a preference. When I went through philanthropy day, it was a freaking game changer. I realized how important it is to actually resonate with the organization that you're helping and to actually be engaged with your philanthropy. That's not to say that like if I joined a different sorority, I wouldn't care about the philanthropy at all. I'm just saying that I think it is important to consider philanthropy when you're going through the recruitment process because you want to care about the cause that you're giving back to. So yeah, I mean, that, that was just like a personal thing for me. It doesn't have to be for you, but yeah, philanthropies are awesome. My third tip for finding the right sorority for you is to acknowledge that you're not going to have amazing conversations with everybody in the house that you adore. You may have an absolutely amazing time at a house for so many different rounds, like every single girl you talk to is going to be amazing and you're going to have like a connection, you're going to feel it, and then there's going to be this one conversation that just doesn't live up to your expectations as the rest did. You can't let that one conversation like change your whole perspective of the house, if that makes any sense. Just in reality, you're not going to connect with every single person you meet, but if you overall had a great time there, then it's probably a good house for you to consider. Because like I said before, the whole process is based more on the bigger picture. You don't want to like judge every single conversation and you don't especially don't want that one conversation that wasn't as great as the rest to like outweigh all of the amazing ones that you had. So just try not to like linger on one specific thing unless it's like really bad like <laughs> unless the girl is like being really offensive and hating on you then I would take one bad conversation with a grain of salt because I mean like all of the other great conversations you have with people are probably gonna be- I'm saying the word conversation a lot I'm sorry all of the great talks that you had with other people in the house are probably the best indicator that you fit in there and also like it was one girl you know you never know what was going through her head while she was talking to you she might not have had her morning coffee she was having an off day maybe she was feeling sick maybe her cat was having babies as you two were speaking like you you never know don't linger on one moment don't let one moment define the whole your whole view of one chapter just like being able to take a step back and think overall do I feel comfortable here? Do I think I could fit in? I ran into that mistake a bit and a lot that's like natural. A lot of people are going to do that. So look at the bigger picture. With that being said, the whole situation could go in reverse. And by that, I mean you could have a really amazing talk with this one girl in the house, but the rest of them were just kind of iffy and they like didn't flow that well or as well as that one person. You have to think like, do you just really love this one girl or do you love the whole house in general? Cause if it's just that one person and the rest of the conversation that you have are like, eh, you know, then you probably won't fit in as well in that house. Just because you join a different sorority doesn't mean you can't be friends with that one girl that you really loved in that other house. Like I have so many friends in other houses. I'm happy that I chose where I am because I felt overall the most comfortable in the house that I'm in. And like, it's gonna be different for everybody, but I would just say like, don't linger on one amazing conversation you had when in your gut you know that you probably wouldn't fit in here based on all the other girls that you spoke to. And my fifth and final tip for finding the right sorority for you is to go with your gut. Ah, I cannot stress that enough. Like I said in the very beginning, the entire process is based on your emotions and how you feel and you need to be cognizant of how you feel with every single chapter. So when it comes down to it, like go with your instincts. I will tell you, when I was going through prep and I had to choose between two the two houses, it was so hard like i loved both of them equally so much but like my gut was telling me that i should go to this house and i was really happy so go with your gut and don't let other people's opinions sway you because you're not technically supposed to talk about it but like let's be real people talk about it really just like listen to yourself talk to your rogue on this too because they're there to give you advice so yeah i would just say really 
trust your instincts, go with your gut, and take it from there. So yeah. But yeah, those were my five tips on how I personally chose which sorority is right for me. And I hope that these tips were helpful to you and that you may find this advice useful, especially going through virtual recruitment. Like, I have no idea how that's gonna work for you guys on your side. Um, and I just wish you all the best of luck with that. I'll definitely be making a virtual sorority recruitment video because it's gonna be a lot more difficult feeling a connection, especially through a computer screen. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. Be sure to stick around for more. If you made it to this point, you're a very good human. I almost forgot to say that. Wow, getting really bad at this YouTube thing. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.